hi welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi i'm kylie and i do things like challenges tutorials reviews anything to do with beauty basically and today i am going to go through my favorite brushes so my favorite face brushes eye brushes detail brushes the lot um over the past like say year i've really been starting to find which ones I gravitate towards. I have a lot of brushes, like, not counting the ones that I've got here as my favourites. This is my eye brushes. <laughs> Times that by one, two, three, six. It's a lot of brushes. I was very kindly sent quite a lot of them from one of my amazing patrons, Nemesis. But yeah, so let's just get straight into that, shall we? Okay, so first up, let's get into detail brushes. Now, you guys know that I love like my cake liners, doing like um, liner looks, stuff like that. So, these. These are my absolute favourite so far. I've tried quite a few different ones from like Amazon, uh, basically Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. And then Nemesis, who I just mentioned in the intro, actually sent me this set, which is from Amazon, but it is the first set I've had that hasn't like frayed and been horrible after like the first wash. I need my master wear. <laughs> so it comes in like this big set. It actually comes in like a, a wallet thing, but I'm not sure where I've put it because um, I just like to keep them in a pot. But yeah, I absolutely love these. I actually really like this one. It's kind of like flat and pointy. I use this one a lot, especially if I'm putting something in my waterline as well. That one's really good for. Um, or these kind of like rounded tip ones are really good for liner detail. Love them and they're pretty affordable from what I remember. I mean they're from Amazon so they most likely are. Next, so cut creases. I have a ride or die for that and that is the P. Louise 2072. So it's just this flat one, I get a little bit of product on it, I pinch it so it's like really really flat and it's amazing. I have I think about eight or nine of these. They are amazing. If you want to learn how to do cut creases this is where to start, like honestly, ride or die. I used to use a Body Shop eyeshadow brush that was a bit smaller than this but then I tried this once and I've never went back. Crease brushes. So I've got these two here. This one is the Jessup 230. And then this one is the Morphe M222. So this one's just a little bit smaller and pointier, but I absolutely love these. They're like super soft and they just help blend things out really well in the crease. And yeah, I've never had any issues with them. What I will say though is that this Jessup one, I think it when I first got it, it did have a lot more bristles in it. So it has thinned out over time. So technically, yes, that is an issue, but it's thinned out to a place where I really, really like it now, if that makes sense. So yeah. I forgot about another crease brush. This is the Molly O'Brien Rowena M021. I had it sitting in my collection, but I just, I, it was lost in there but then I started to use it and now I use it like practically every look I do. I really really like this. So there's that. For like concealer brushes or like putting a base on my eye, that sort of stuff. These BH Cosmetics, they're like mini eye fan brushes in sizes 4 and 5. These are really good. I like the really small one for putting on a base on my eye and I like the, the slightly bigger one for like under my eyes and sometimes for under my eyes I like this one which is the concealer buffer from Jessup. 
and it's much more like fluffy but a little bit dense but yeah these ones are fairly recent these ones are sent to me from nemesis again <laughs> but yeah so these are definitely up there my faves i think the first person to like talk about these was make me up myself i'll link her channel below and everybody kind of cottoned onto it i'm not sure if it started before her but yeah right so little like blending brushes and stuff like that these two here um these are from morphe it's the jaclyn hill jh40 and the m506 the jh40 is just a little bit smaller like slimmer than the m506 and these are brilliant for like blending out anything like these are awesome i really really like these this one here which is the p louise 143 now this isn't necessarily amazing for blending but it's good for like putting down shades in like a small area and I do kind of blend with it but I do think that these ones the Morphe ones are that that little bit softer and better for blending out but these are like a team that I have that and the M021 um, Molly O'Brien one that's like my go-to team for doing pretty much any eye look that I do so yeah love those for placing shadows on the lid I've got like different categories for this so this one is quite thick and fluffy and it is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH50 that's that one so this one is like my biggest one that I'll use to place down shadows and I like it because I can then kind of blend out the edge a little bit as well if I'm doing like a smoky look with it so there's that one then there's this one which is a bit smaller and this is a do care brush i think this is from amazon so it's the same sort of idea but a lot smaller so if you're doing it in a smaller area but the ultimate one for that for like really small areas especially when like you know how i do like the broken up cut creases and stuff the jessup 237 is the one it is amazing it's soft it doesn't like splay out at all and it's just really good for getting in those little details absolutely love it if i didn't have this i would probably cry and then the last three eye brushes so there's this one which is the m508 so it's just like a little dense short flat brush this is great again for like little details sometimes when i do like a cut crease i want to add a little bit of depth and depth in it again at the line and this is small enough to be able to do that this is great for under the eye so many different things even like winging out it's great it's so versatile this one here which is a smashbox number six it's really teeny so it's kind of similar to the Jess up 237 that I absolutely adore but it's smaller narrower and not quite as soft but for doing like my inner corner and under my brow bone absolutely love it this is definitely my go-to for that the Jess up 226 smudger this is great for under the eye I use this quite often I do want to find one that is a little bit smaller so like in between these two so my favourite face brushes. I kind of multi-use some of these brushes. I use them for different things. This one here, which is the Jessup 110 Face Shape Brush. It's like a bigger version of the one that I like for concealer. I like this for either putting down a primer that I don't want to use my hands or with a liquid blush because I find it's just really easy to blend them out or liquid highlight or something like that. I find it really good for that. So if I do like use it for my primer, I will just use a bit of my Isoclean and then reuse it again for if I'm doing like liquid blush or something. But I would have multiple of these actually. For foundation, I actually really like the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. I really like this one because because it's got that shape like how it's like quite narrow it's really good for getting down like the sides of the brows in between 
the brows, like all that sort of stuff and it's dense enough that it just really like blends in my foundation flawlessly. I use this like every single day. Like if I'm not using a sponge, I'm using this pretty much. For putting down contour, I like this Morphe R14. So it's like still a little bit wet. I used a lot of Isoclean on this one um, but yeah I like this for doing my contour normally like I think people use smaller or angled brushes and stuff but for some reason I've just really like been addicted to using this one it just blends out everything really really well and then for putting the bronzer on after that I like the Morphe Y5 just this one or I'll use my, it doesn't have a number, but it's a do care one. Or I'll use one like this. Or if I'm using powder, this is the one that I'll use for powder and I'll stick with this one for putting the bronzer on. I kind of mix it up. I don't have any like set, set ones really. For blusher, I absolutely love the GH06 Morphe Jaclyn Hill one. That's really nice. It, I think it doesn't pick up as much product as what like say this brush would. This one would pick up so so much product and with blush you have to be really careful. I do find that because this is quite light it doesn't pick up as much which is really good. It's not a bad thing at all. I would use one for bronzer as well actually. I have sometimes just used this one for both. But yeah, really really good. Nice and soft, washes well. You couldn't ask for better. Then for highlight. I like the JS4, really like that one, fits on my highlight fine every time. I do find if I'm using one that is a bit more like a kind of putty formula, like the um, Be Perfect Get Wet ones, I do have to kind of pinch it to get the product to go on it um, or use a different brush. But apart from that, puts on powder ones awesomely. Like happy days. But sometimes I will use this one for highlight which is the Real Techniques 402 but I mainly use this one for powder under my eyes but I don't actually powder that often. I do sometimes, it depends on the day. If I'm just like filming a, a video and I'm not going anywhere I won't bother powdering because I prefer how my face looks without powder. But yeah so because this is quite small but fluffy I like this one. That is all of my brushes. Um, well, all of my favourite brushes. You, you know how many brushes I have apart from that. <laughs> but yeah, so I would, I think, if I was wanting to get more, I would want more of like the small blending brushes like the M506. I want to try the M507. I love the JH40. Anything like that kind of style, maybe even smaller than those. I would get more of the Jessup 237 for sure. They need, they need to sell those individually because I'm not buying like five sets just so I can have five of those. No, not happening. <laughs> and then I'd probably just like get multiples of some of these and then get rid of like the bulk of what I've got there. I think that would probably be what I'd do because I've really found some like die hard ones here that I just absolutely love, like my rider dies. So that is that. I hope you enjoyed this. If there's anything else you want me to go through, like my favourites of something, like my favourite blushers or something like that, then let me know. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you've managed to watch for this long, then please remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you can, if you've got the time, if you could hit the like button, um, because that really helps get the video out there and yeah I'm gonna love yous and leave yous and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye!